back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys! So I am here today to do two very exciting unboxings. I had two packages arrive today. One of them is the April Book Buddy Box, which is this package. And the other one is the March Moth Box, which is this package. So I'm very excited because, as you know, these two subscription services are both run by two of my best friends. Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books runs the Book Buddy Box, and Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings runs the Moth Box. I believe that Book Buddy Box is bi monthly, and Moth Box is going to be monthly. Um, there's going to be a short story collection and a novel collection for Moth Box, so it's going to be really exciting from the next few months. I love both of these services. The Moth Box books that I've had in the past, I've loved. The Book Buddy Box books that I've had in the past, I've loved. So, I'm super excited that they both arrived on the same day and I can't wait to show you guys what I've got in them. So I'm going to start off with the moth box just because it requires scissors to open it whereas the other one doesn't. So I'm going to grab them. Snip, 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 snip. We have to go in this bit. So let's try and cut whilst holding it up. This is not safe. Do not do this at home. Ow. Hit myself with the box. Nothing to do with the scissors. That's just clumsiness. Okay. Dun dun dun! I've opened it. There we go. Moth box! Yay! <laughs> oh, okay. So, inside, as always, we have the Moth Box logo printed on top of these lovely, very, very bouncy, I remember from last time, very bouncy stuffing. So, that's very exciting. So, this is Moth Box's logo. This month's box features two fantastically inventive novels. Both books are weirdly dark and unsettling yet beautifully evocative. They offer distorted versions of our own world whilst commenting on contemporary social issues. The novels have completely different writing styles, but both delight in the strange and the surreal. We hope that you delight in them too. And I'm sure I will. So let's dig out some of this wrapping. Oh, it always goes everywhere. Shake it off. Oh, oh, oh. Here's book one. Here's the second one. <laughs> now that I've dusted myself off, let's find out what the books are. So, she always includes a bookmark, and on the bookmark there's usually a quote from the book. So I'm going to read you the quote, but I'm not going to read out what the book is yet, because I don't want to know. So, it says, Some days when he came to work, it was his shadow that went ahead of him. So, the book we have is 100 Shadows by... Juan Jungen, maybe? Um, it's translated by Jung Yuan, and it's a winner of the Man Booker International Prize, so that's pretty cool. It's published by Tilted Axis Press. I've never heard of them, but it's very nice quality. And the inside cover says, In a slum electronics market in central Seoul, a city better known for its shiny skyscrapers and slick pop videos, an awkward, tentative relationship grows between repair shop assistants Iyungo and Momuje. I'm not sure how you say that. Having both dropped out of formal education, their circumstances are already uncertain when the market is earmarked for demolition. An event seemingly linked to a strange recent development, the shadows of the slum's inhabitants have started to rise. An oblique, hard-edged novel tinged with offbeat fantasy, that sounds good to me, 100 Shadows leaves the reader to make up their own mind as to the nature of this shape-shifting tale. Never heard of this before, but very excited. Love the cover design, I think that's absolutely beautiful, and I'm really, really intrigued. And I'm super excited that it is a translated book as well. That's awesome, so I can't wait to check this one out. The second book that I have here is The Hardback, so let's read out the quote. She feels like she has been thrown into the air and for a brief moment she is aloft. The earth has turned so that when she comes down, she recognises nothing. Let's find out what this one is. Ooh! It's called Little Nothing, and it's by Marissa Silver. This is a beautiful cover, like, it's so gorgeous. It's kind of a reddish-black tint across all of these shapes that just look kind of amazing. So that's awesome. 
never heard of it, but it's published by One World. In an unnamed country at the beginning of the last century, a peasant couple longs for a child. Despairing, they turn to gypsy tonics and archaic prescriptions, and one cold wintry night the couple's wishes come true. But the silence that follows the birth forewarns of darker days to come. Strangers look on askance and fall speechless in the child's presence, and villagers protectively hush their children as they pass on narrow market lanes. Pavla is no ordinary child, but then this is no ordinary tale. That sounds amazing. Drawing from a rich tapestry of fables, fairy tales and folklore, Little Nothing is fantastically inventive, suspenseful allegory, and one of the most quixotic and constantly surprising love stories you will read this year. So that sounds pretty awesome, I have to admit. Um, never heard of this. I, I've never heard of the books that Mercedes sends to me, but I'm super duper excited. So these are the two for this month, March. Very, very excited, very happy with both, very much looking forward to both and I can't wait to dive into them. The April box will be released or announced on the 1st of April, she's now announcing them on the 1st of every month, and that box is going to be a short story collection box, so if you are interested in short story collections, definitely keep your eyes peeled on her Twitter, which is at mothboxbooks, or on her webpage, I'll link it all below, and you will hopefully be able to get yourself a box, so definitely look out for that. The second package that I have is the Book Buddy Box, and the Book Buddy Box is run by Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books. She does a kind of different service, so her service is basically aimed at people who like doing buddy reads but don't necessarily have someone to buddy read with. So what you get is a surprise book in the post, it can be any genre, anything basically, a book that she really loves. and that book has post-it notes throughout the whole book which has thoughts, it, ideas, inspiration, kind of different tidbits that she was thinking whilst reading the book. It's like doing a buddy read with someone even though you're not and it's just really really fun. I always love the experience of reading the book buddy box books. I need to read the last month's one because I haven't read that one yet but I'm really excited to dive into it and I have no doubt that this one will be good as well. I think she might actually have a few left in the shop for this one, so if you are interested in picking yourself up a copy of this, you can go and check out her shop right now, I'll link it below. If you don't want to be spoiled, now's your time to go and buy the last few, there are not many left so you've got to get in there quick, but if you do want to know and then you want to go buy them, you can do that as well. So I'm going to open it now. Oh, oh, things are falling. Here we go. It says, unload your negative thoughts, feelings and emotions onto the thought bubble, then place into a bowl of water and watch them fade away. Wear your motivational badge tattoo and let the positive message serve as a constant reminder on your skin. So that looks so cool and I'm very excited to do that. Love that got to be something to do with this book I'm guessing which is called Bruised by Sarah Skilton. On the front cover it has a tagline that says she failed to save his life how will she live her own and there's a girl like a trophy of a girl doing some sort of martial arts it looks like so that's pretty cool. Imogen has always believed that her black belt in taekwondo made her stronger than everyone else, more responsible, more capable but when she witnesses a hold up at a diner she freezes. The gunman is shot and killed by police, and it's all her fault. Now she's got to rebuild her life without the talent that made her special, and her beliefs that made her strong. If she could only prove herself in a fight, a real fight, she might be able to let go of the guilt and the shock. She's drawn to Ricky, another witness from the hold-up, both romantically and because she believes he might be able to give her the fight she's been waiting for. But when it comes down to it, a fight won't answer Imogen's big questions. What does it really mean to be stronger than other people? Is there such a thing as a fair fight? And can someone who's been beaten and bruised fall in love? So this sounds really, really good. I love the added little sticker thing, that's awesome. And I'm looking forward to reading this, I've never heard of this. Um, it's published by Amulet. But I've never heard of it, so very, very excited to give this one a go. And I'll show you some of the post-it notes if I can. Um, you can probably see them, they're orange in this one, so yeah, there's little bits tucked in the pages and then post-it notes stuck on, so I'm very, very excited to 
dive into this one. So I think I've done pretty well. So this is the book buddy box book. As I say, there are a few left, not many, but a few. So if you want them, go and grab them. And then she'll be adding next month's one very soon as well, I'm sure. This one is very, very exciting, as are the two moth box books. And I am so looking forward to all three of these, actually. I don't think there's a bad one in the bunch. I'm very, very happy with my two subscription boxes and I can't wait to read them all. Tell me down below which one you want me to read first, which one most appeals to you. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you all so much for watching and I will be doing reviews of all of these as soon as I read them, so look out for them. And I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye! Thank you, Fortune, my video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.